and welcome to Budgeting with Intention. In my last video, I compared two different cash envelope wallets. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how I made the cash envelopes to go inside. This is the wallet that I chose. It's the Filofax Safiano Compact Zip, I believe is the full name. And all I've done so far is make a couple little cash envelopes that will hold my bills. And I will show you how I made them. I used vellum paper and packing tape, a hole punch, super simple things that you probably have in your own home. And I love the way they, these look. They're nice and minimal, which is what I was going for. But you could certainly use any paper that you want, including plain old printer paper, or if you have fancy origami paper, or what's that paper that, um, scrapbooking paper, pretty much anything. Um, so what I used for the vellum is, let me, I thought I had everything organized. I say that every time. I am organized, I just don't know where I put things after I organize them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I had this vellum from Staples from Christmas. I made some cards for people and I had a bunch of this left over. So this is what I'm using today. I don't know if you can see the label there. I got it at Staples, 25 sheets of vellum for I think around $20 Canadian. Um, I also have a pencil, ruler, if you have a paper cutter, you can use a paper cutter. I'll show you the one that I'll be using. And I think I got this at Staples. Gosh, I've had this for probably 10 years. I have no idea how much they cost now, but um, if you don't have this, you can just use scissors and a ruler. That's no big deal. And to laminate the um, envelopes and to seal them on the sides, because I don't have a laminator, I just used plain old packing tape, again from Staples. So, like I said, nothing fancy. You can use whatever you have at home, and if you don't have anything, then it shouldn't cost you too much to, um, you know, get what you need. So, first thing I did was measure my bill. Um, yeah, I just took a bill and I measured how big I wanted my envelope to be. I left a little bit around each edge and a little bit extra at the bottom to allow for where the holes would be. The end, let me just measure this for you so you have exactly what I used. So it's three and a half inches by, oh gosh, I'm so bad with fractions. I don't know how you Americans do this. Six and, five eighths, I think, inches. And in centimeters, that is just under nine centimeters by almost 17 centimeters. I will leave the exact measurements in the description below. Um, I wasn't too fussy with this. I just eyeballed it um, with a bill, like I said. Uh, you might even be able to Google and find you know, what size standard cash envelopes are, that would probably work too. Um, so the next thing I did was just show you from scratch here. Sorry for the plastic noises. It's probably really loud. Oops. Oh my gosh. There we go, just one. Um, I took the piece of vellum and I cut it on my paper cutter. And if you remember the, oh my gosh, I'm making so much noise here. <laughs> okay. So this measurement was three and a half, but if you multiply it by two, of course, that means it's seven. So the full paper, when it's not folded, is going to be seven inches. So I'm just going to measure that here. And I'm going to cut. 
and then side one was six and five eighths, I believe. Let's see, that's about it. I'm just gonna double check. Yep, that's just about right. Okay, and again, if you don't have a paper cutter, you can just measure it out with a ruler and make your marks and then cut it with scissors. And then let me get my book so you can see what I'm doing. So then I'm just gonna fold it in half. So, just like that. And then of course when the money goes inside, looks like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to be doing is, um, I guess, laminating it. So we'll just use packing tape. And I'm going to speed this up so that you don't have to watch me <laughs> cut every single piece. But basically what I'm doing is I'm going to cover the top edge first. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So I covered the first top edge and then I'm going to do the same on the other side and that will just protect um, the edges because that's where I'll be handling it quite a bit and I want that to be protected. Um, so I'll do those first and then I'll laminate the rest of the weight down and then I'll do the final pieces up the sides, <coughs> excuse me, up the sides to keep the envelope closed on the ends. So um, I will speed that up and we'll meet back here in a second. Okay, so I have both sides laminated now, the front and the back, and I will be putting the final pieces of tape along both ends, and that should be the end of it. Okay, so that is the finished envelope. Um, <clears throat> trying to get the reflection there. So you can see that it is laminated with tape on both sides and the inside is um, not laminated. It's just laminated right along the top edge here. But um, I think that'll be fine. And when you put the money in, it just slides right in. And the next thing to do is punch the holes. 
So if you have a hole puncher that's the size of your envelope system or your wallet system, then you are all set and ready to go. If you don't have the right hole puncher for that, um, what you can do is take a piece of paper or the ruler or whatever came with the system and just line up where the holes are, make a little mark with a pen or a Sharpie, and then you can come in and use your hole punch and individually punch the holes. Um, I'm just gonna use this because it's a lot faster. And there we go, one cash envelope ready to be added to my wallet. And um, I haven't decided how I'm going to label these yet. I just have these little placeholders on here now. It's literally just, I wrote the category on a post-it note and then cut out the sticky part and stuck it on like a little sticker. And uh, so far I have groceries, pantry and household. This is other, which is just miscellaneous stuff. And then this is my personal spending. And then this last one, I haven't decided what it's gonna be yet. It's probably gonna end up being uh, eating out or restaurants or something along those lines. Um, so that is it. That is how easy it is. It did not cost me a penny because I already had all of this stuff on hand. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited that I can now move over into this new wallet and start using these cool envelopes. At some point, I probably will um, upgrade and support an Etsy seller that's in the budgeting community and buy some proper laminated envelopes. But right now, my budget doesn't allow for that. So until then, these are my stand-ins and I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out. Um, I will update you if I come up with a nicer label, but for now, I'm, I'm okay with it. It doesn't bug me. Um, so let's go ahead and stuff these envelopes. So one, two, three, four. So $80 is our budget for groceries. So that's gonna go right in there. And then pantry and household gets $10. So that goes in there. And our miscellaneous gets $10. This is our weekly spending budget here. And then my personal cash goes in this one here. And then we don't have anything for this final envelope. Once I figure out what it is, um, yeah, we can set a budget for it. But for now, we'll just leave it as is. And that is that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you supporting my channel. And um, yeah, I hope that you have a nice day. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know and I'll be glad to answer them in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you next time and have a great day. Bye.